Hi guys, Angel Mommy. Welcome back to the news in the media. So today we are going to talk about Gabby Petito's high school years with Brian and their relationship in high school. And we are going to also talk about her captions in the beginnings of Instagram. So let's dive on into it. So I am going to be talking about how they met. According to her stepfather, they met in high school at Bayport Blue Point High School. They started their relationship when she was a sophomore. And she was around 15 years old. And he was a junior. And he was around 16 at the time. This was back in 2015 when they started their relationship. According to articles I found on the internet. So bear with me. I'm just trying to gather it all and figure this out. So like most couples, you know, puppy love. Everything was up and down. Especially like when you're in middle school or high school, like it makes sense. You're gonna have a up and down relationship. You're gonna be, when you're up, you're all kissy, all over each other, showing that you guys are happy. Yeah, that's puppy love. You're in high school, middle school, you know, but this is high school for them. And then they were down fighting, arguing. Sometimes they couldn't stand each other. This is what people would see and what they would hear from them. Brian would tell his friends or Gabby would tell her friends. Like I said, again, this is what happens when you are young. There's gonna be ups and downs, which is perfectly normal especially being so young like that. Then they eventually took a break for a couple months, it says in the article. I will only say this because she graduated in 2017. They took a break in 2016. So I'm assuming they were together on and off for a year and then they took that break until graduation in 2018 they started to talk or maybe late 2017 to 2018 they started talking let's get into the pictures i'm gonna show you why let's hold off on the high school thing and the reconnecting we're gonna start with gabby's first picture on instagram her facebook is private I couldn't really dig into that. So Gabby started her Instagram July 16 of 2014. Now she was about 14 years old because she was a sophomore in high school. So she was about 15 when they started dating. This is her first post. Her caption is good morning. Now she's about 14, 15 at this point, guys. This is her first Instagram post. I'm assuming this is when she opened her account. This is her next post, May 14 of 2016. She was about to be 17 years old at this point. It's a breakfast and juice box with a strawberry emoji. So I'm just trying to show you that her captions were really short at this point. It took her two years to post the second post on her Instagram. Then she posts this on August 5th of 2016. This is a three month gap. Remind you, she's still in high school at this point, guys. It's a sun emoji. She's using hashtags at this point. So this is a three month gap. I noticed there's a lot of gaps. I'm assuming because she's in high school and she's not posting frequently. This picture is on December 6 of 2016. This is a four month gap. And she's in Costa Rica at this point, guys. She is still around 17 years old. She's still living with her parents, I'm assuming. And it's just a smiley face. 
just a smiley face. Now we have this picture. This one's an eight month gap. She's 18 years old at this point. She's about to graduate high school this year, August 24th of 2000. 17 there is no location on this one and it's just a sun emoji a sun emoji this is a eight month gap the next photo is a four month gap and this is december 12th of 2017 there's no location in this photo it does say she's in love with the concept now i did look this up this is a song by eden and i believe the song is called xo i did look it up i did listen to the song it is pretty good so you guys want to check that out i will leave the link in the description Here's another photo. This is a two month gap. So there's a lot of gaps going on here on her Instagram. It's not out of the ordinary because I don't post sometimes for a good week or two weeks. Sometimes, um, yeah, I mean, I try not to go that long, but um, yeah, this is not anything out of the ordinary for her instagram just because she's still in high school even when you're out of high school like me like i said i i don't post but i don't post like big gaps like that i just i can't do that being on social media and stuff like that this is a two month gap she's about 19 at this point uh, this is february 26 2nd of 2018 there's no location and she drew a flower and a butterfly it's a butterfly emoji and it says her mom so i'm assuming that this was for her mom that she drew this for she was really good at drawing um you can see right here See the detail in the butterfly, the detail in the flower. She was a really good artist. Here's the next picture. It's a nine month gap. So she's 19 at this point. This was posted on November 8th of 2018. She's 19 at this point, guys. She just graduated high school. And this is November 8th of 2018. And in her caption, she says, wish you were here. Makes you think, right? Wish who was here? Wish who was here? Now, is this uh, when they started talking again? This is when they started rekindling their relationship? I'm saying this like maybe it was before November 8th of 2018. They started rekindling their relationship because she puts wish you were here um so who are we talking about in this post i'm assuming it was brian what do you guys think let me know in the comments if you think it was brian that she was talking about and she put hashtag astro world i tried to look that up but it was just different things so if anyone knows what astro world means let me know in the comments as well do you guys think she was uh trying to rekindle her relationship with brian and then she posts this so i'm just trying to get the timeline together of when they started rekindling things after the post november 8th of 2018 we have a post that took place february 20th of 2019 she is almost 20 years old at this point guys this post took three months from the last post february 20th of 2019 it's a coffee emoji, sun emoji, leaves emoji, and it says before the snow. And then there's a snow emoji. Was there snow on February 20th of 2019? I think there was. 
uh i believe there was uh let me know in the comments if you remember like around that date if there was snow but i believe there was not anything out of the ordinary here let's go to the next photo february 24th of 2019 she was in new york new york nothing wrong with this one either but my question is it says smiley face happy hour was brian with her at this point was like i know they were trying to rekindle things who took these photos that's my question like who took the photos because at this point brian is like uh one year older than her and she says happy hour so i'm assuming that she was with brian at this point who took these photos because he would be 21 at this point i'm not saying anything like she was drinking but it says happy hour usually when people say happy hour they're going to a bar or they're going out hanging out you know drinking not saying she was maybe he was drinking but according to articles or according to uh sources they didn't like doing all that but you know i could be wrong february 25th 2019 nymy it says another denim jacket pick what's up leaves emoji cloudy emoji box emoji and she's looking up march 2nd of 2019 she was at the metropolitan museum of art as we all see and uh it says unwind your mind with star emojis um i believe they were together february 24th that whole day because she was back posting I only say this because on the 24th, the 25th, and the second that she posted, she's wearing the same outfit. She seems super happy in these photos. Well, I'm assuming she was hanging out with him around this time. They were trying to rekindle their relationship around 2018. I'm not sure though. Please let me know like um, if that's what you think as well. Make sure you guys put a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, I'm still going to make another video. All right, guys. So thank you for joining me today for Where's the News and the Media. So I will see you guys on the next video. I love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me. You guys are amazing.